Hi Taurus, this is your extended reading and you really have had a beautiful reading. A lot of luck. Wow. Now let's see what um, uh, cards is going to come out from this deck to clarify the cards. You've got the messenger. The messenger, good news is coming your way. Could be about money because we've got the diamonds here and we've got the nine of cups. It could be to do with your wish, the nine of hearts. Okay. Also, you could be getting a visitor or you could be visiting some, pardon me, somebody else. I've got a hiccup there. So I hope I'm not going to continue hicking up. So definitely news, you could be traveling as well. New beginning, number one. Ace of Pentacles, number one. So you've got your angelic number here. Uh, the porthole. So definitely the angels are showing you there is a new beginning. You also have number 35. The anchor. You're coming home to a safe place. You're putting down an anchor somewhere where you feel safe. This could be with a new friendship. This could also be uh, if you're going to start a new job because this is the beginning, this is the beginning, the sun is the beginning. If you're starting something new, a new study, then definitely you will feel um, safe there and you'll feel comfortable. Um, also, you've got the nine of spades, which is the nine of swords. You might be worried about this new beginning or this multiple new beginnings, but you'll be be fine keep the communication going number 35 is 8 the house of money and the house of power you're in your power so don't worry somebody's telling me we won't give you what you can't cope with what you're given you can handle you're strong you're wise you're experienced okay again we've got the sun on the clover wow so two sons from different decks. Again, a new start. Hearing of a birth could be of a child, could be of a project or an investment. Going on holiday or making plans to go on holiday, moving home. Dealing with a Leo or meeting a Leo. Number 31. So you've got two number 31s, which in turn turn to four. One, two, three fours. The ace of uh, pentacles again so it your reading is also luck with money luck with business so i think you might be even expanding the business if you have your own business or expansion in your um vocation your career okay we have the snake well jealousy is definitely coming out okay we've got the snake here so be careful the snake told Eve to eat the apple that was the forbidden fruit because it was so delicious and it would give her so much magic again the snake is lying he talked with a double tongue so somebody could be talking about you with a double tongue gossiping there is a snake in the grass like I said in the first main reading be careful if you're signing official papers the Queen of Clubs, so that's the Queen of Wands, lying on the Queen of um, Swords. Um, definitely, both two houses, the status of the Queen, they've got their emotions under control, but not as much as the King. So stay calm, don't get stressed out. You've got a number seven here, so again, luck is on your side. So you could be meeting or dealing mainly with a Leo. Leo, you've got the sun here and the sun there. Could be a prominent Leo around you or coming in. Definitely, but don't forget Aries or Sagittarius. And that could be Sagittarius time. Okay, Sagittarius time. Okay, underneath the deck we have the Jack of Diamonds, the Jack of Pentacles. So we've got the Jack of Swords and we have the Jack of Diamonds. News coming your way. Could be about something that's long term, tangible and durable, like a job, a relationship, 
going into a long-term relationship because you do have the marriage card here twice because the sun means going on to the next level in career or marriage we've got the bouquet of flowers so that could be your marriage bouquet coming in designing it wow what a lovely reading there you are the scythe also means you're cutting away from the past you are ready to come into the new year you're letting go of things that are of no use to you anymore and you want to make room to create new memories and new experiences like the child beautiful reading a tin an ending you had an eight nine ten it is also showing in the cards that you're going upwards seven eight nine ten coming to completion awesome you are cutting a new path for yourself you are harvesting as well the scythe means cutting away the weed harvesting but also cutting away from the past beautiful reading i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have and i hope to see you in the life or in the next reading remember i go live on Wednesday morning on Facebook and Wednesday evening at quarter past nine European time um, on YouTube exclusive for my YouTube cyber angels so why not become a cyber angel on YouTube and join me I love you and I am grateful for all my viewers and there is an option now to join in the um, Charlie's Angels memberships club and it's two ninety nine. Why not? Or give it as a present. Thank you. Have a beautiful week.